again? Welcome back to my shitty YouTube channel. And on today's episode of Ken Dog trying to get his life back on track, but he can't because he's addicted to staying up late and playing video games, we're gonna attempt to do something productive. <laughs> but I'm hungry as fuck. While them bastards are cooking, I got some devastating news for Hazy. <sighs> Not gonna believe it, man. I was mudding, right? Just romping the shit out of it. And I lost my damn turning signal. And my fender wheel needs some zip ties. I don't understand kids in the comments. Wow, he rebuilt that motor and he's already mistreating it? That won't last long. <laughs> Who gives a shit? It ain't your fucking truck. And even if it was your damn truck, you, you honestly think you're gonna rebuild this motor and you're gonna fix it up and not just mud the shit out of it? There was absolutely no purpose of rebuilding this motor in this truck other than mudding. Not a human in the world is gonna fix everything on this piece of shit to make it a nice truck too far gone might as well romp the shit out of it no ken dog it's a nice truck you rebuilt it you need to take care of it yeah i'm totally gonna fix these rocker panels if you can even call them that there is none fix this rust fix this rust hole repaint the damn frame new rear end new transfer case new transmission new front diff yeah bro <laughs> that's no problem in the gym trying to work on my break though god damn spending money in the club like sales yes ma'am I got a damn monitor over there, and there is an absolute 0% chance that that monitor is working with Rage, okay? But I got this old Henry 22. I haven't shot it since my pops died. It's like a damn BB gun. Shit. Never took the protective plastic off my monitor. There we go. Now it'll probably work. Try that shit again, but I don't want my damn TVs to fall out. We'll get it next time. Wow, it actually looks like a vehicle. Finally, we have. Finally fixed the door handle. You don't know what this vehicle is. I bought it for 300 bucks and then bought $400 worth of parts. And I'm fixing it up and selling it. All I have left to do is the cruise control buttons and then the two front wheel bearings. And that should be it. Maybe a few things here and there. A few zip ties on the bumper, make it look a little nicer. My turning signal is in the garage. I didn't put it in. Put new headlights in. Brand new header panel up under it. Hood's not closed all the way. Yeah, I'm gonna scratch all this tape shit off. Back here, I'm gonna drill two holes and get zip ties and tie it together all tight back there hopefully it'll make it look a little nicer up here we'll take the stain today oh yeah damn there's a full ass tank in here i need to dry this damn thing more my fat ass craves a gigantic portion of mcdonald's hash browns exactly what i'm about to go get i was actually supposed to go look at a house this morning i called her the other day and she said well call back tomorrow morning and we'll schedule a day where you can come look at it and then i called in the morning she said she had a family emergency so i can't look at it till friday she's gonna be out of town so i'm gonna call her tomorrow hopefully i'll get to look at it tomorrow and from the pictures it looks all right it just costs about three times more than the trailer did but yeah i'll give y'all a little updates on bullshit like that let y'all know when I'm planning on moving out. All I'm really wanting is privacy and a place with a garage. Really don't even give a shit if it's a piece of shit or not. I just want a garage. Would never leave it anyway. Alrighty, folks. Today, I wanted to record some more bullshit-ass content for this video. So me and Lexi was chilling in the woods, and I just thought, uh, hey, why don't we just go camping? It's only going to be 35 degrees tonight. It's 52 degrees right now. So we're going to go to the lake, set up a tent, cast out some poles, start a fire. We're going to have a good time. First, before we go, we're going to go to Walmart. Got to get the fishing bullshit. And food. And some food, yeah. Here you go. We're making more content. All right, turn it on. Like really warm in the morning, then we're not gonna be able to get on the boat. Oh, it's gonna be really cold. Bring right. some shampoo, wash no. her head. And water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really cozy. It's not cold right now. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Oh, 
sure, maybe. Oh. There's another one. This is the toilet. This is the toilet. Right. Just trying to vibe with nature. Oh, nature. The air mattress. Alright, that's all. Cooler. Oh, we just okay. gonna drink hot, ice cold beverages. That's the catfish cooler. I was trying to throw it out of my U-Haul truck. I slipped off of it and went, whoa. Wait, it hit your leg, didn't it? Yeah. It hit you in the head, head. it would have knocked you out. I'm bring a couch. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had them S-150 rims. It's like a few hundred bucks right there. Shut it. 20 bucks. You sold. Thick boy. From Sinky boys. Yeah, I needed all this bullshit anyway, so why not buy it now? This one's 18 bucks, and this one's 30 bucks. We're gonna see the differences in them. Which one's brighter? That's exciting. Yeah, we got a little carried away. We had to stop and get some Subway. Can't rock and roll on an empty stomach. All right, we're at the spot. We're about to set up the tent. We got the light bar shining so we can actually see. Can we go get the pillows? All right, y'all, tying on a sinker and a hook, and then we're gonna cast it out. I wish you had told me it was stink bait, because I don't have any sponges in it. I'm just gonna I put a hot dog know. on my hook. Let's go. Can we take this yeah, that went far. It's currently 2 a.m. I'm also really tired. I've also got mustard on my fingers because I touched a hot pan. I love you. One day plan, yeah. camping trip. Last minute trips are the best, though. I didn't even record reeling in the pole, because you already know it was on the other end of it. All right, y'all. So that was yesterday. Literally just went out there, made a big ass fire, just sat around it, chilled all night. Didn't even fish because as cold as it was, I knew I wasn't going to catch anything. So I only cast it out that one time and left it out overnight. We also went exploring in my truck a little bit, the back roads back there. So yeah, we didn't do much, but it was still fun. Really cold going to bed, but it wasn't too bad. I'm used to sleeping at the cold from when I lived at that trailer. Had holes everywhere. Oh yeah, update on the house I was going to look at. They sold it. And when I called the person back, they wouldn't answer me. They sold Sold it the day before they said they was going to be out of town so that was just a bunch of bullshit they was scared to tell me that they already sold it so instead they just made up a lie and didn't answer my phone calls anymore what the hell dude why would you not tell me that i was willing to pay like a year's month rent in advance if i had to i really wanted that place two car garage nice ass house in the middle of nowhere only 700 a month too but now i'm looking for a different place so uh if y'all live in kentucky around this area you think you can hook me up you know maybe go in the comments but i'm not not gonna take most of them very seriously because i know there's a lot of trolls so if you can actually hook me up make a comment that'll catch my eye there's a lot of places to rent down here it's just that either they don't have a garage or they're right in the middle of town and i want one that's kind of far out no neighbors super close and with a garage or building gotta have those two things but another update on the ford the wheel bearing is completely out y'all ever watch that video my ford almost killed me the wheel bearing is out just as bad as that the knuckles hitting the rotor and everything <laughs> So I'm gonna swap that out pretty soon. Before the old motor blew up, the wheel bearing was already going out again. So I knew it was gonna go out. Next video, I'm gonna be putting new tires on the Mustang. Be excited for that. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this pointless content vlog. If you found any enjoyment from it whatsoever, make sure you let me know by leaving this video with a fat thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. What the hell, dude? You literally watched my video all the way until the end and you're not gonna like and subscribe? Why? You might as well. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. Good 
Goodlow TV. Add me on Snapchat for them fire ass memes. RNTV underscore 15. But I'll catch you next time on the Goodlow TV channel. Later.